what's up you guys what's up so today's video is sponsored by west kiss hair they did send me their lace frontal i can't remember if it's 13 by 4 or 6 but i'll definitely post all of the information below do you guys see those bleach knots that was done by me along with the pre-plugged hairline there does there is comb sewn in the unit along with that i did sew in a elastic band and i went ahead and i did pre-plug the hairline so as you guys see there is a comb and an adjustable strap in the back so we're gonna just throw this wig on we go get into this you know make it really quick so that way you guys will see the before and after I will showcase this the day after in this video too because I really do like this wig they have amazing units I have been working with West Kiss hair for probably like three or four years now and I have never been disappointed I just started recently doing or reviewing their lace frontals normally it's been the bundle hair but this is like my third lace front or or second from them and I will say they do have really great work and customization for their wigs so this is a 22 inch lace front with a 200% density you can definitely choose your lengths and densities um, at the time of purchasing the unit this one particular being that it has so much density was $209 but just as I stated the density and length is optional you can choose what you like the lesser the density and length the lesser the wig will cost you so you want to take your small scissors I prefer small so that way you know you don't cut off anything extra and it makes the job a lot easier and these are also curved scissors you don't have to get them curved but it does make a nice precise cut so you want to make sure also not to cut the lace too close now in this portion of the video right here you do see me taking my rat tail comb and I'm just going to cut that excess lace off because it is over my ear and and we don't want to have that extra piece of lace on because if so the wig will not fit properly it will definitely not lay properly and you want to make sure that your wig is comfortable at all times because girl you do not want to be shifting it around and messing with it in public and then end up having to yank it off because it's just too uncomfortable so make sure at all times that your lace is directly above your ear like this portion right here now this is optional but I do like to have some type of sideburn hairs only because you know my edges feel a little bit naked if I don't and it just kind of looks a little bit more natural you know it just takes away or it gives a little bit more oomph to the wig and this is also optional but if you want to camouflage any of that lace you can just make you some wispy hairs or like I'm about to do some slick down baby hairs um prior to this like I said I did bleach the knots and then after I bleached them I did use the Sally's Beauty Supply Store purple shampoo which is equivalent to the shimmer lights um, I did leave that purple shampoo on the lace of the cap for about two hours just to make sure that all of the brassy tones were removed if you do follow the instructions on the bottle and leave it on for about five minutes it will still probably have that brassy tone so go ahead for maybe like an hour or more and just leave it on so that way there aren't any brassy tones at all in your unit so as you guys see I'm one I'm using one of my favorite hairsprays which is by got to be and this is their glam force which gives you a 48 hour hold I do like this a lot because it dries really quick and it is available at Ulta I did pick it up at the Dollar Tree months ago but honey if you're trying to find that now don't even bother wasting your time you can get this online and in store at Ulta for $4.99 I did purchase quite a few cans along with their different other types of hairsprays by got to be which I will showcase in a later video now you can use a blow dryer if you have one on hand but if not you could just let this product or this actual hairspray dry on its own because it actually does dry a lot quicker than the um, freeze blast by got to be and to me this hold is a little bit stronger it does hold for about 48 hours if you are tying it down at night sometimes the edges like here the sideburns will kind of like lift up but the rest of the wig will stay intact I'm also going to be using the got to be glam um, the got to be styling mousse which is the fantastic I do like this because it gives you a nice amount of sheen and body plus it does help sculpt your flyaways or wispy hairs or baby hairs whatever you want to call them you can also use that I do like to use the mousse along with sometimes the hairspray or their gel on my baby hairs or wispy hairs but for this particular video I'm going to just use the mousse which also holds down really well and will also leave the hair still feeling quite a bit soft and just go ahead and repeat those prior steps on the opposite side so that way you get the same look you know what I'm saying girl yes
So now that we're done styling and just prepping this side, I'm just going to fix up those little baby hairs just a little bit because I don't want them too wild. But I think they came out rather cute. You know, I'm not one for the big flyaways, but I decided to try something different. As you guys can tell, I got a middle part going on. I did use a... Uh, I think it was like less than a one inch barrel on these curls overnight and I just used some pins to hold them in place and now I'm just going to take my fingers and finger comb through them. I wanted the curls a little bit looser but this hair, this hair does curl really well. It did shed just a little bit, not nothing too much. It probably came from the pre-plucking process but I'm just going to take my denim brush or my fake denim brush or whatever you call that brush that I purchased at the Japanese Dollar Tree and I'm just going to brush truly and just use that same mousse that I used to sculpt those baby hairs down to control the flyaways just a tad bit and along with that I'm just going to take my flat or my flat comb my hot comb you but definitely want to be careful with these things here and I'm just going to try to just smooth out some of the curls because girl listen I'm not trying to look like Shirley Temple, okay? I just like my curls just a little bit looser, you know, definitely if the top is straighter. But this stuff is optional. You can always use a blow dryer to also loosen the curls, but I figured I would just do this since I had the hot comb in hand. Now, using my wax slick stick for my flyaway hairs is also really important because I hate them, but you don't want to distribute too much because they can get a little bit greasy. So this is the final look for the first day of this, and I will say they have gorgeous hair. I do like it. Look at them edges, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it came out super duper like cute and as far as the parting there's no bleach um there's no brassy tones or anything like that and even though this is just a lace frontal, you could definitely put it up in a high ponytail or bun, as you see I have here, which is the day after. And I'm just going to remove it so that way I can show you guys that the wig is still intact, as you guys see right here. The hairspray does hold really good, and I'm just going to go ahead and brush it out so that way, you know, I can get all of those little tangles out and just show you guys the looseness of the curls as well as how the hair held up overnight with my daily activity activities and it came out super cute as I did say you guys the edges are actually where the sideburns at on the edges will lift a little bit as you see right here but no big deal you can always just spray them down just a little bit more and then you're good to go guys i had to come back the next day with this west kiss hair just to let you know that they are really official okay so i slept with this wig on of course you guys seen i took it off like i took the bun down that's how i slept with it the curls dropped which is good because i really didn't want them too curly like that and this is her like she looks better the day after so check out west kiss i'll leave all the information below you can do a lot of cute little styles with this lace front so let me know what you guys think i will see you guys in a soon to come video Never leave my body alone